Welcome to the Sabre Roar. I'm Evan. And I'm Mitch. This fall, the Franklin Sabres football team headed into the playoffs with their sights set on state. Round one of the playoffs, the Sabres squared off against the Racine Horlick Rebels. Within the first three minutes of the game, the Sabres struck with a Ben Smith touchdown run. It was smooth sailing after that with the Sabres cruising to a 27-3 victory. Next round, the Sabres faced off Lake Geneva Badger. Badger's high-octane option offense edged past the Sabres defense. Franklin fought back to even the score at 14 in the second quarter. In the second half, Badger came out on top with a 28-21 win to move on to the third round in the playoffs. Badger went on to beat Bradford in round three. Although the ending was disappointing for the Sabres, they finished their season with a 7-3 record. Football isn't the only thing that the school can get excited about. The FHS Fall Play is also a highly anticipated event, and this year's comedy was no exception. This year's Fall Play, The Craving, follows the story of an author who writes a beautiful love story only to have it changed into a horror film by Hollywood producers. It's a very kind of silly story that they've been able to really do a lot with the zombies with a couple of special things that we've thrown in, some funny moments, and overall, I mean, it's a lot of hard work. While at times it can be difficult to balance the play with other activities, the cast and crew did whatever they could to make it work. So there have been some stressful moments along the way, and students have a lot of homework, a lot of other activities, but for the most part, I think everybody has had a great time. I know that as the director, I've had a great time. I just you know, adore the cast and the crew. They've been awesome. Let me say this about it. With the end of the fall play, many members are already looking forward to this year's spring musical auditions. The Arts Department has been looking for new ways to represent and show the arts around the school. After 15 years of the same mural, the FHS Art Department has begun a new project. The mural was designed by Julia Gallipel. Uh, she started working on it last school year and is currently working on it as much as she can after school. It is a variety of sabers in a landscape that would be familiar to what we would see in Wisconsin during its prehistoric times. While Julia works on her mural, there is talk of more murals possibly being created around the school. But for now, Julia hopes to finish up her project by the end of this school year. We look forward to seeing the final project. Not only are there murals, but if you visited the school recently, you probably have noticed some new re residents around campus. The sculptures made of paper towel and packing tape gave the 3D art class here at FHS a chance to make some cool new life-size statues that took three to four class periods to finish. Uh, each group, because there were groups of two to three, had a different idea to go behind the image. It was based on a gesture drawing of a person in motion or a pose. And some people took the pose one way as to just being silly. Other people took it as a way of a release or an idea that meant something to them, but maybe we didn't get it. Although we may not understand the meaning behind every statue, it's very clear to us what this one is supposed to mean. There are only a few left around the school. Try to find them if you can. Students and staff have been showing our support for anti-bullying by becoming a sea of blue. FHS students took the pledge to stop bullying by wearing blue shirts. Some students stepped up to extend their support by signing the anti-bullying pledge poster. Well, this year um, we have an anti-bullying campaign where a group of students from Franklin High School are getting together and coming up with monthly activities for bully prevention. Once a month we're going to do something to identify students that are not bullies and to inform people and educate people on how bullying affects others. The group randomly selected 12 students who signed the anti-bullying pledge poster to be identified for showing their support. And as a bonus, each person won a free donut. The last Friday of every month is when you can show your support too, so remember to wear blue. The colorful bricks that used to line the back hallway disappeared this year. This demolition was part of a renovation effort to improve the entire hall. Over the summer, the back hallway finally received much needed improvement. The 50-year-old ceiling needed replacement and the overcrowded hall needed to be expanded to improve student access during passing time. FHS head custodian Mr. Blomquist has full knowledge of the work that was done. Changed out the ceiling, changed the lights, uh, took uh, several of the brick columns out that were on one side that separated the classrooms, and uh, some minor electrical and ventilation work. Although the colored bricks around the back hall doorways were removed to make more space, some students relied on them to find their classes. I used to be able to find my classrooms by looking at the colors of the bricks, but I can't do that anymore. Students will have to teach themselves to read their classroom numbers to find where they're going. 
And speaking of the back hallway, here's Robbie with a live traffic update. Okay. Here in the back hallway of FHS right now. I might be a little bit nervous because this is my first story. Um, the traffic as of right now is uh, looking very good. Uh, there's really nobody in the hallway. Um, we're looking smooth as butter back here. You guys can go ahead and sign your planner passes. Do whatever you need to do because it's looking good back here. That's good. I usually avoid the back hallway like it's the plague. Same here, Mitch. How's the weather back there, Robbie? It's a slight breeze out here. I would recommend a nice light sweater. Uh, as of right now, things are as smooth as butter on a roll in fall in a nice restaurant. Nice little cafe scene going outside. Nice little fall. Someone cut his mic. Thank you for telling us literally nothing, Robbie. Anyway, the FHS swim team had a stellar performance this season when they... Give me a latte, please, from Starbucks. Come on, it's your job. What, what, what's going on? What is... Wait. Oh. Ah. Oh, what? Okay, it sounds like we're getting something new from Robbie. Can, can we put that on? Conditions are really escalating quickly here. The power is just filled up really fast. And, uh... Oh, I don't know, it's probably not... We, we lost Robbie. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Mitch. And I'm Evan. Keep doing interesting things so we have something to talk about. <laughs>